Well, friends, there's, um, we're just about through this now. I guess some folks are wondering on edge retention. Well, for starters, uh, friends, it's a round file, right? It's, it's not square, square file. Square file tends to be quite a sharper angle. Friends, good morning. Good to see you. I'm glad you're here again. Welcome to Buck and Billy Ray's YouTube channel. It's good to see you. It's another glorious day here on Vancouver Island. The sun's out. There's not a cloud in the sky. Mind you, my wife woke up this morning and she makes her coffee and does her thing in the kitchen and she has the door open. She says, it's September. She says, it feels like a September day. It is September. It is. Yeah, actually, it, it, <laughs> it is September, she says. The, the temperature though, baby. It's, it's a little cooler in the mornings is what I'm saying. She don't let me get away with nothing, eh? That's why I married her. Anyways, uh, friends, listen. I There was a shot in, in yesterday's video or the day before, I believe, where I was... Friends, if you remember, right when I started in the back of the pickup truck on the, on the last video, I showed the brand new chain that I was just starting. Remember? Is the baby C. See that little flake right there at the top? I just finished filing that right there. Okay. This is where I show. I've actually, if you look, I know I don't expect you guys to see these things, but you see that little file I put down on the on the tailgate with the little rubber handle? That's the eighth file, and I was just gonna go and start creating a baby C chain on a brand new chain. I was going to do it. And this is where the epiphany hit me with the, with the, the chip dump. This is where it happened. So I just want folks to know that, that that tooth I show right now is definitely, if I left it like that, would definitely, it, it wasn't done actually. I was going back into it to get it square, to get the burr up and off. Because really to me, there looks like there's actually a burr there. And I said just before that I just finished filing it. I wasn't done. So it's just bad editing on my part on the last video. But that's that's where the questions you guys came up with. Geez, that looks like it would be, you know, dead doll fast. It absolutely would, and you guys are right. So we we changed it. Look it. Can you see that? So check out underneath the top plate. Look at how sharp that is compared to, say, that. Look at the stock tooth. Look at that. Oh. Oh, my. This is the image that prompted questions from you guys about dulling fast. And you are absolutely right. You can see if you look closely. Look at that right there. Look at that. You can actually see three segments. Chain. So... Yes, that that tooth absolutely would have would have looked like it would have dulled fast. Hard to say, but oh, and I really show though some other questions people asked if it would weaken the side plate or weaken no. So I show all that in here to give you folks an idea of what the what the chain looks like coming into the wood. This is a pretty good video actually. It explains it. So I like these types of videos. I think it helps people. It sure helps me. I love this filing stuff. So let's get into it and uh, and get this square. Have a great day, friends. Enjoy the video. Give it a thumbs up. The the chip dump is is a round file. That's all it is. Let's look at it again. Let let's go at this again, friends. Okay. So there it is. Is it sharper than, than a stock chain? Absolutely, freaking lutely it is. Absolutely. But look, that's, that's not crazy aggressive. It's a round file. It's actually, that's not aggressive to me. Look how high the rakers are. This freaking chain cuts, friends. Now, folks are asking about um, edge retention, which would be, the question would be um, in here, right? Sorry, let me get set in here, right? You'd wonder, because I just took a file across this so we could see it, you see? So, 
somebody asked about the side plate too here are we weakening the side plate well uh, here give me a second wow that works good holy cow okay there's the side plate look at how thick it is look at that this is incredible film uh, camera look look how thick that side plate is friends that's crazy camera work. Th these cameras these days are amazing. So there's our, there's our underneath our top plate, right? This is just gunk, see? Sorry, friends. You, you're seeing it, right, friends? You, you see what I'm trying to give you here? Sorry. So there's no, nothing's been, um, like it's strong as, as everything's still strong. Look at the side plate. It's huge. All we done friends is created this chip dump down low. See it there? It's down low. Right? That's it. Look at how strong this is still. So, so there should be no question about, I think what people saw is this. They saw this, this sharp point and they're thinking, well, that could be weak. No bucking. They saw this right here. Take a look. I just had a notion to, well, it's not, it's not weak. It's actually strong. Look at There, there, there's the chip dump right there. And I didn't make a huge chip dump, just a spot for stuff to shoot out of there. So I'm gonna go in and get into some really hard dead arbutus, which is like rocks, it's like iron. So there's your, there's your side plate, friends. Nothing's been weakened, right? So let's go get at it. There it is again. The chip dump. All right. Brian's we are. Now friends, Arbutus trees, I'm trying to categorize them with something that you folks have. I, I can't really. Uh, Arbutus I think is close to 2000 on the Jenka. I believe it's 18, it's nuts. And we have a lot of it here. A lot of it. I just cut one down at Brian's, but I, I like they're here. See them there? They're very interesting. They grow like there's one right there. Okay, see the see this guy? The, this is it here. This is Arbutus. It's like Madrone, which is basically the high, uh, pardon me, uh, Rhododendron family, I believe. You see, there it's rock solid stuff, like very hard. And when it goes dead, it's more than twice as hard. Let's put it, your picks won't even stick into them. They turn to iron. So there is some in here. Uh, yeah. So I wanna, I wanna show you friends, this, this baby C and the chip dump and show you what it's like in this wood. And people were uh, questioning, or not questioning, but asking about the um, uh, edge retention. Like, how does it hold an edge? We're gonna find out. So, there's our wood shed. Oh, actually, it's been doing great. Oh, there's your Arbutus, beautiful. Beautiful, this stuff's rock hard. Those are new shoots, friends, from the tree. Here we go. Here we go. We saved this one. It's already shooting up, Brian. It's already shooting up. Okay, 
So I'm just going to go play around for a few minutes. I'm going to test this chain out here. So, remember, this wood is rock solid. go back so the reason I'm showing you this friends is because of edge retention and and please friends I, I'm doing this as out of service for people that are asking questions friends look at this stuff I gotta show you something. You guys gotta see something. Huh. Check that out. 
Somebody asked to see chips. Well, there you go. This is the kind of chip these saws are throwing, friends. Look, it's it's no joke, friends. This this and they're way back there. Look at that. Especially these guys. Gosh darn it. I'm kind of liking this baby C, to be honest with you. Um, we got one more cut zone, maybe. I'll meet you guys over there. Okay. Chip dump again, Arbutus, nice fresh Arbutus actually. This is, this is actually, this is what I was after. And there's a good chunk of it here. There's a couple chunks of it here. Look at this. Oh, is that the... Yeah, there we go. There we are. Solid. All right, let's get the 266 with the baby C on it. Skip two. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm just going to tell you I'm impressed. Okay, that's up in the air. That's good.
Okay, so if you don't know what our butus is, friends, it is a it is known for its hardness. Listen to this. Listen. Oh, okay. Well, that didn't even break. Let's try again. There it goes. It is roasting. Look at me. Just drenched. <laughs> it's beautiful. The back, I feel it. I feel it. That's why I'm just, you know, going easy. But check this out. Edge retention for the guys that were asking. So there we go. And uh, look at that, eh? No issues. Well, I mean, I knew there wouldn't be, but I wanted to show you guys that we, we wouldn't have any issues with a round file. You're not going to have, you're not going to have edge retention issues with a, with a round file that is in, in, like, I mean, you know what I mean, friends? You, you're just not going to have it. Unless you do this. Unless you do something like I'm about to show you right now. Okay, friends. So in closing, I, we know what that is, right? What, what do we call that right there? That, what, what do we call that? Ski jump is what we call it. It's the ski jump. There's no hook. Okay. So you, you would never have a, a, an edge retention issue with that right there. Edge retention issues with a round file. Watch what I do here. This file is dull. And actually in saying that, edge retention issues. Okay. I'm just doing this to get my hand out of the way. You see guys do this. You do, you see it. They, they overdo the hook. So this is what they're doing. There we go. Okay, so this is where you're gonna get re uh, edge retention issues. Now I've seen it happen, friends. They 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 hear get the gullet and they do that. You see that right there? You 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 see what's going on, right? Yes. Well, the top of this tooth has not even been touched. You've completely undermined the top plate. It's you you, you see what I mean? So this happens a lot. Now in order, see, look at the file. The file's even right because it's grabbing the top plate. So then you'll get a guy pull up. Well, just ease off on the file or change it, the file down like this. Okay, watch what happens. I'm doing this, watch what happens. I'm doing this. This is where the boat comes in handy. Okay, see the big flake coming off there? See it there? Okay. Let's just quickly get it. Okay. Here is what I need to show you. If you do not, can you guys see that from where it's at? You can't, can you? Or can you? I'm taking you in. We're going in. I'm not, I'm not playing around. Look at that. That's got to go, friends. You know what I mean? Your edge retention comes when you get too far under and create this huge gullet. If you don't get this thing straight, see it coming up straight now? And you don't get rid of that 
burr, you're going to have edge, edge retention issues. Look at it. It's not. It's not there. It's still not there. See it? See the burr? Telling you, friends. Right? I'm just doing this hat so I don't get my... There's still burr there. It's still there. There it goes. Gone. There it is. There it is. Complete. Strong. No burr. And there it sits. I mean, look at that. Look at, I mean, that's, that's deadly, 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 right? Look at that. So there's the edge. Wicked. No, it's like, that's not that aggressive friends, to be honest. That That's actually almost. It's not aggressive at all. This chain's not getting a ton of oil. I think it's a little tight. I'd like to run it a little looser. Probably wouldn't, you know, do that little thing where it slows up a little bit. But I'm excited about the baby C, to be, to be very honest. This thing is, is scary. Even better so since I ground that little edge off. You see that little, gr uh, little edge that I ground off? Like, I mean, this thing freaking cuts. Lower raker, but I mean, there's no teeth left. See? Look at that. I'm telling you, it cuts like wild. Well, you saw it. I, I'm, I'm, and again, this is, this is skip tooth. Okay. Real quick. Let's talk about gullet for just a second. Stock, chain, 730 seconds file. The whole file is going to fill up this. 530 seconds with the chip dump, right? The gullet you would think is the lower part of the chain, which it is, yes. But all these things, here's the baby C, right? All these, they're square ground, okay? Square, right? Some guys go straight. I like mine back about five degrees. Now, the gullet in all of these, the cutting edge, and I talk about it, is a straight edge from the top straight down, okay? That, that's weird why that does that. Okay, straight down. Here we have, right, straight down. So there's space here, okay? They all share this in common. Every one of them shares this space here. This half moon, they all do. This one, it's there, okay? So the gullet, believe it or not, friends, people say, well, what about the gullet? Well, the gullet, friends, <laughs> In the cutting edge, believe it or not, is here now. In this cutting edge, this is the gullet. The gullet, obviously, is here, right? The gullet in the baby C is here. This little piece here, if you didn't have that, it went like that. You, do you know what I'm saying, friends? I just wanted to bring that up to, to your speed again one time. I'm playing around over here, but I just thought, right? Baby C. Eighth file, 530 seconds. I'm a terrible artist. Gullet now on the baby C ends up at the bottom part of the cutting C is the gullet. Yes, this is the gullet of the chain. Of course it is. But in this particular cutting edge or blade, the gullet is at the bottom of the blade. Gullet, gullet, gullet. Gullet. <laughs> so, I know I already said in closing, but friends, this is really interesting for me. I'm learning as I'm going. This, see, how are you going to know if you don't have your own experience? You can go on YouTube and look at guys like me and go, oh, yeah, and oh, what about this? And that looks like this. Yeah, you can. But there's nothing 
There's nothing like hands-on. You know it and I know it. I urge you, friends. Listen, I'll tell you this though. The baby C is not, you, when, when building the, the baby C, you have the tendency to undermine that top tooth because of course you've got a small, there's no other way to do it than, than I found, let's get a guide, than to just hold that file briskly in there. You, you, you will take a burr off, friends. To create, you, you sometimes eat up more chain than you would like to. Don't, don't be afraid if you, you flip up a burr and you go, well, I'm chewing up a fair bit of my chain. Yeah, you are. You're using up chain. Absolutely. That's part of it. So, friends, I, I'm, I'm really impressed. I am. I'm excited. I think, to be honest with you, I, I think what I'm liking the most, obviously, is a square ground chain. But a lot of folks have difficulty with that square ground. So I'm just showing you different ways that you can accomplish and experience something different that may work for you. Uh, I urge you to stay in the round file game. If you're a firewood cutter and a weekend warrior, I I do. I just urge you to to stay in the round seven thirty second zone. That's just my my recommendation to people who are not that savvy with the file yet. Learn the file. Learn what it does. Learn what happens when you tilt your file like that, and and go down, which would give you a concave top plate, and this would give you the the opposite. Like there's friends, they all it all does different. That's why I'm not an advocate of of guides and gauges and gadgets and gadgets. I'm just not. You can custom file with these things, these little suckers that the big fella give us. Friends, I've rambled enough. It's a long video. Not the greatest video to be skipping through. It's just not. And if you've done that, you're going to leave comments that aren't going to make any sense to me. And I like answering comments, but I, 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 I won't answer stuff that's in the video or just doesn't retain to it or pertain to it. But I do love you. And I'm so glad that you come here. And we're going to have a good finishing off of this year. We're going into fall. It feels like now. I got some exciting stuff coming to the channel, friends. Let me know what you think about that little freaking t-shirt, the keep on bucking thing. Let me know seriously. Should we do a pre-order or something on like that? I don't just want to print a bunch, but if people like that, keep on bucking. Keep on bucking means a couple different things to people. It's personal. Get a long bar, friends, and stand up and buck. And get the gullet. The gullet is in regards to the low part of any cutting edge on a power saw. Square grind is like this. Look at that freaking finger. I busted that in a steering wheel years ago. Let's switch, <laughs> right? Square ground, right? 730 seconds, right? 730 seconds. Baby C. It's all in the bottom part of the cutting edge. Over and freaking out. I love yous. Work hard. Be honest. And be freaking kind. Go out of your comfort zone. Have your own experience. See you on the next video. Doink. <laughs>